I'm walking along, I'm, I'm crossing the uh, tracks here, and all of a sudden all the bells start ding, 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 and the voice in the speaker, and right when I was on the tracks, give me a heart attack. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to wait for the train now, because, well, you know, I like trains. Which way is it coming from? There it is. It's coming from this way. It's a passenger train. Short. Just coming from Daegu. That was fun. Well, as you can see, I'm back at the General Kim statue. As you saw in the other video, um, my bird nest cache has been muggled. There are a variety of possibilities for replacement cache. Mm, the benches. The benches have magnetic parts. It could, uh, I could put a micro-magnetic. Um, there is a grating system all around the monument that could be useful uh, there's a lot of foliage around here a lot of bamboo I could set up a fake bamboo stalk as you know bamboo has hollow sections you could just cut it so that um, an exposed section is, is uh, available to put a cache in And there's also one other possibility, a puzzle cache. I've never done a puzzle cache. I don't think, I don't think I've even ever solved a puzzle cache. I've solved some letterbox hybrid caches, I think, but um, never a puzzle cache because I really consider myself kind of stupid. Um, maybe I should just try one if I can find one and uh, yeah I got I got time the weather is still cold and miserable for me it's like 39 degrees Fahrenheit right now which is very cold for me I hate that it's hard to function but maybe I should just find a, a puzzle cache and try to solve it give myself a little boost of confidence maybe and uh, see what I can do here. When you're hiding a cache, when you're placing a cache, there are several things you need to think about. First, you have to think about the rules and regulations of geocaching from geocaching.com. It's their game and they make the rules and the rules are all sensible rules. There's nothing... I've never found a rule in geocaching.com that I thought was stupid. Uh, but other than the rules, there are some things you need to consider. Like, why do you want to place a cache someplace? Is there a reason people should go there? Does it have a good view? Is it something historical? Is it just a nice place? Um, do you want them to see something? Do you want them to do something? Um, things like that. There should be a reason why people go look for your cache, not just to find another cache, to add a number to their, their list of caches. Uh, here in Korea, uh, you can get a lot of caches here in Korea. You can get thousands of caches here in Korea. Um, if I had a car, I would have a lot more caches. I can guarantee that. Uh, a car really helps you with your cache numbers. But, if you're into geocaching uh, just as a pastime, not as a hobby, then uh, you're going to want to have a reason to go someplace to get a cache. That's how I look at it. That's what I think about when I hide my caches. Now, the first couple of caches I hid, I, I just didn't really know what I was doing. But now, uh, all my caches have a reason for being where they are. Okay, while I've been walking down here, I've been thinking, it might be possible to put the coordinates up there at the General Kim statue and then require the hunter to use a compass. A 
compass and distance. I don't think I've ever seen that in a cache hide before. I'm not saying it's not there, but I've never seen it. So to get the hunter to the General Kim statue, which is kind of my goal, but you know, I wanted to put one over here in the park too, but it was too close to the General Kim statue. So one way around that would be get them to the General Kim statue, give them uh, compass directions and meters to where the physical cache is actually located. I think that'll work. I'm going to go over here and find a good place to hide a cache, get some compass directions to the statue, because I can see the statue now that it's winter. There's no foliage on the trees. I have a direct line of sight to the General Kim statue. Yeah, I think that'll work. What do you think? I won't post it until I hear from somebody. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, guess! That's what I tell my students. Hey, if you don't know how to say it in English, just guess. I always tell my students that. Guess! Because even guessing is using the language, using your brain. <laughs>